Lisa Marie Presley Jackson drops a bombshell on the king of pop. Hi, everyone. I'm Jim Moray in Hollywood. Lisa Marie Presley Jackson has told her husband, Michael, to beat it. The daughter of Elvis filed for divorce from the king of pop on Thursday in an announcement that was both stunning and yet not surprising at the same time. She cited irreconcilable differences. Court papers indicate they separated December 10th. That is while Michael Jackson was recovering in a New York hospital after collapsing on stage. Now, this marks an end to a marriage that, from the start, was always more showbiz than storybook. And just think, nobody thought this would last. Michael Jackson and Lisa Marie Presley embraced before a live audience at the 1994 MTV Awards to counter rumors that their four-month-old marriage was on the rocks. Now, less than a year and a half later, a lawyer representing Lisa Marie confirms the marriage is over and released the following written statement, quote, Lisa Marie Presley, through her attorney, John P. Cole of Washington, D.C., filed for divorce against Michael Jackson today in Los Angeles, California. Court papers cite irreconcilable differences and indicate the couple separated December 10th, while Jackson was still recovering in a New York hospital after collapsing on stage the week before. Jackson was released December 11th. In a telephone statement released to CNN, Johnny Cochran, Jackson's attorney, said, quote, Michael Jackson and Lisa Marie Presley Jackson have mutually agreed to go their separate ways. They remain good friends. Jackson biographer, J. Randy Tarabarelli. Marriages go bad all the time. Relationships often don't work out. And this was a very difficult, rather dysfunctional relationship from the beginning. The wedding in May 1994 in the Dominican Republic between the daughter of Elvis Presley and the self-proclaimed king of pop was cloaked in secrecy. Even weeks later, spokespeople for both the bride and groom denied the ceremony had even taken place. At the time, many speculated that the wedding was a ploy to shore up Jackson's public image, which was badly tarnished by one child's allegations of sexual molestation. That boy reached an out-of-court settlement with the entertainer, and prosecutors for Santa Barbara County and Los Angeles County decided not to press charges. It's not surprising that it's over. However, I, I do hope that uh, the public will keep in mind that perhaps maybe it really was just a good uh, relationship that went bad, not a phony relationship that never was. Last June, both Lisa Marie and Michael Jackson appeared on ABC's Primetime Live and proclaimed their happiness. But the interview was attacked by some critics as being little more than promotion for Jackson's album History and its debut video, Scream. Lisa Marie later appeared with Michael in the follow-up video from that album called You Are Not Alone, which raised eyebrows over its suggestive images and renewed widespread rumors that the marriage was a well-orchestrated PR campaign. Lisa Marie does not want to pay Jackson's spousal support and reserves the right to ask that he pay legal fees for the divorce. A surprising celebrity marriage is coming to a rather unsurprising end. The daughter of Elvis Presley is telling her mega star husband to beat it. CNN's Linda Joyce has our report. After a year and a half of marriage to pop superstar Michael Jackson, Lisa Marie Presley has filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. Her attorney confirms the marriage is over and released the following statement. Lisa Marie Presley, through her attorney of Washington, D.C., filed for divorce against Michael Jackson today in Los Angeles, California. The two were married in a secret ceremony in the Dominican Republic in May of 1994, but it was several weeks before the event was acknowledged publicly. Spokespeople for the self-proclaimed King of Pop and the daughter of the King of Rock and Roll denied for some time the marriage had even taken place. When the marriage was finally acknowledged, some critics speculated that the nuptials were actually designed to improve Jackson's sagging public image. Jackson was the subject of a year-long investigation into child abuse allegations. But four months later, the couple appeared at the 1994 MTV Music Awards to put an end to any rumors this marriage was a sham. And just think, nobody thought this would last. This is Presley's second failed marriage. Her first to a musician ended in divorce after six years. They have two children. I know that the uh, media and many of the general uh, public will feel that the marriage was a setup the whole time. Uh, that the whole thing was a sham and uh, my sources have told me and Michael has told me that it was not a sham it was not a publicity stunt marriages go bad all the time relationships often don't work out 
And this was a very difficult, rather dysfunctional relationship from the beginning. So it's not surprising that it's over. However, I, I do hope that uh, the public will keep in mind that perhaps maybe it really was just a good uh, relationship that went bad. Jackson's lawyer issued a statement saying the two have mutually agreed to go their separate ways. The statement goes on to say they remain good friends. Linda Joyce, CNN, Los Angeles. Lisa Marie Presley's marriage to Michael Jackson is over. Lisa Marie filed for divorce yesterday, ending their 20-month-old relationship. Please welcome Mr. and Mrs. Michael Jackson. And just think, nobody thought this would last. She's out of my life. Married secretly in the Dominican Republic in May 1994, the world's weirdest marriage has been under constant speculation. I would love to sing with you. Mm -mm. Believed to be more a business than a personal relationship, 1995 saw Mr. and Mrs. Jackson spending less time together. Despite chat shows and naked videos, it became obvious that the marriage was crumbling. Jackson spent Christmas alone without Lisa Marie. Lisa Marie did not want her children from her first marriage to be adopted by Jackson. And when Michael was seriously ill in intensive care, Lisa Marie was one of the last to visit him. With the marriage a main ingredient of the resurrection of Michael Jackson, the divorce could signal the start of new troubles, or a new beginning for the singer as a middle-aged divorcee. And the divorce announcement comes just two weeks before Lisa Marie's 28th birthday. On that day, she will inherit $50 million from the estate of her late father, Elvis, with another $150 million over the next two years. And although the couple signed a prenuptial agreement, all money that they earn whilst they're married is equally shared between them. Jim has the latest on the Jackson-Presley split. The tabloid headlines may be screaming, but Lisa Marie Presley Jackson and husband Michael remain silent Friday the day after she filed for divorce from the king of pop. Legal analysts expect a quick and clean split instead of a bitter court fight, given that both partners have substantial sums of money and the marriage only lasted 20 months. While it may go smoothly, LaToya Jackson hinted darkly to CNN through her manager that Lisa Marie has plenty of dirt on her brother, and others see something questionable about the timing of the divorce announcement. It was that he's very jealous about the spotlight, very competitive about the spotlight, He's sort of been drifting out of the spotlight lately. Meanwhile, his sister Janet just signed a record deal for $80 million. So, you know, Michael has always found a way to play another card over the course of many decades, as I say, and stay in the spotlight. Now he's got us talking about him again.